Hello everyone, I'm Brian. Today I'm reacting to Road Rage Dharma with subtitles with Sim. So, I don't know exactly what he's trying to go with here. Road, ra Road Rage Dharma. Dharma has always been your, your duty. Road Rage Duty? Dharma? And then I think also there was a word that seemed to be used a little bit differently with Sim here. In the ways that's going to get started. Get people that get on nerves, that tell us off. Nasty people at petrol stations. Nasty, you know, the KL Highway is a wonderful place to practice. Wonderful. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> Do you know that I was coming out of um, center point around that area and uh, I got cut off really badly, you know? And I almost rammed into the person. He cut me off so bad. I beeped him. Oh boy, big mistake. It was a van full of people, I, I don't know. They were skinny, they were hard, they had uh, very nasty tattoos, and uh, let's just put it this way, I, I had some karma to purify seriously. They chased me all the way from Banda Utama here, center point, all the way to Mid Valley. You know how, they, we were on the highway, and I was going like, I, I was Mario Andretti, and I was chanting and driving, and, and my car <laughs> cannot do these kind of things, it's not a sports car, okay, and I tell you, I was like, oh my god, and they were, I was weaving through traffic trying to get away from them, because they came so close to me. They came so close, and a couple of times I ran on the brakes just a little bit. They stop, so they come to the side and they try to cut me off. And I'm like, I'm, I'm just weaving through. And you know how I lost them? Yes, my Dharma protector showed up and went, nee, 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 blew at them and they disappeared. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what you expect from a, a Lama from, from Tibet, right? The Dharma protectors come and save them, the golden child, lights, doves, whatever. Mm. That didn't happen. Nobody showed up. You know what happened? Uh, Federal Highway toll. Okay, I got to the toll just before Mid Valley, and I had a touch and go. Thank God I can touch and go. Oh. <laughs> and those guys didn't have a touch and go, and uh, I tell you, they had to pay. So when I touched and went, I speeded all the way, and then they lost me. And and I saw them trying to pay and hurry up. You know, I saw them. Jeez. And boy, did I learn my lesson. Number one, take refuge in a touch and go car. <laughs> take refuge. It was, it, was, it, it was really serious. I, I said, oh my God. From then on, I kept my touch and go cart. Always, never. That's one. Second thing is, on the KL highways, never ever beep at them unless you look inside and it's a 120 year old granny. <laughs> or you look inside, it's some little, it's some little um, 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 uh, uh, dingbat teenager, you know, chewing bubble gum and they can care less. Or you can see their car um, is 120 years old. You never beep. But then again, if they're like that, there's no point. Then, you know, why beep at them? You may give them a cardiac arrest. Yeah. And then there was another time on the highway when I was driving, and there was this young, very pretty, very attractive girl, you know, fit. I don't know, she's 25 or something. She was in a sports car. She can go really fast. Oh, she was so nasty. She kept cutting me off. And she cut, kept cutting me off, and then I beeped her. So when I beeped her, she went, she went in front of me, and she kept stepping on the brake. And I was like, oh, my God. I said, what a fabulous place to practice. So I was watching the road, and I was, 99% uh, I was watching the road, and 1% I was watching my mind. And I thought, oh, I, I really got pissed off, and I said, oh, forget it. I said, I beat what? I'm impatient, what? You know, I don't know her situation. I don't know, maybe she had a nasty day. Maybe she just broke up with her boyfriend. Maybe she, she just had some unhappiness today, and, and I added to it. So if I was a little patient and not beeped her, then she wouldn't be doing this to me and we wouldn't almost have an accident. And she looked like the type that she had plenty of money, so she smashed up the car and never mind. <clears throat> I'm curious about that. I mean, I think it's fair enough to beep. I mean, it's, it's just a little bit of a warning. You use that, you don't use that to, to assault people, as in like, you know, saying, hey, what are you doing? It's more like, hey, I'm right here, be careful, you know, to be mindful. Because sometimes people, when they, they, they cut, cut you off, it's rarely ever that they didn't see you. It's more just bad driving. But there could be that chance where they didn't see you, and you beeping will get their attention. There are blind spots in the cars, so it's fair enough to beep. So it's, I don't think I don't think it's wrong for him to beep. Like I said, and a beeping is just a, a good warning to say, "I hear, hey, I'm here." And again, I re reiterate, there's blind spots in cars. So it's not about being patient, but it's it's a good little scare. Like, uh, great example. I was about to make a right turn. I looked at my uh, my side view mirror and my rear view mirror, 
didn't see the car. I was about to turn. He beeped, and I said, like, "Oh crap!" I pulled. Over, I kind of pulled back, and I, then I looked in the blind spot because you generally you want to look at your side mirror, your rear, your side, and then you look at the the I guess right to your rear passenger, so you can see if you're if you're getting to the right lane, so that you can see your blind spot because the mirror in your rear view will have a blind spots. And um and that beep, like I was like, I'm glad to beep because then I just I kind of you know caught my attention and I moved back and I, and I looked and I was like, oh crap, I almost caused an accident. And I'm glad they beeped. So again, you know, fair enough to beep. It's not I don't think that's being impatient. I think that is the right thing to do, especially if they're about to cut you off. So it's not about. <laughs> I guess it, I guess the thing is it's not about being impatient, but if they see it that way, as in like you know you're honking at them because you want to be rude, then by all means, it's a great way to practice your um your uh mental stillness, I suppose. I'm not, I'm not sure what the right word is. To not let your anger get to you, I suppose that's. I don't know how he'd phrase it, so it's just to not let your emotion get to you, I suppose. Me, it's gonna be back to Boogie Bentang with my ball and giving strings out <laughs> to get a new car. <laughs> the new phenomenon, Boogie Bentang. The monks stand there. I don't know if they're monks, you know, with begging bowls, you know, for money. No, no shoes. Saturday nights giving strings. Like, hmm. Anyway, so I was really careful because I didn't want to smash up my, my little car, you know, my only car. And then, uh, anyways, it's a great place for practice. So on the roads, we don't challenge, we don't fight, and we let them pass. We let them win. Let them go. Let them go. What they want, just let them go. You know why? Because ultimately, we both lose. And I was thinking, what a great place to practice. And I'm very patient on the road now. I don't beep anyone. I'm not, it's not that I'm afraid they're going to get me. I don't beep anyone. Because I thought about it deeper. It's my impatience. It is my impatience. It is my anger. And see, that, that's the thing. My, my, me beeping people is not as an anger or impatience. It's just to say, hey, I'm right here. Be careful. Watch out. I'm here. I'm here. The, the beeping is, I'm here. I'm here. You know, you're too close. You know, be careful. Don't turn. You know, whatever the situation happens to call for it. Me beeping is not, not usually out of anger. It is my projections to how they should and should not drive. And when people cut me off, when they don't give signals, whatever. I think, what am I complaining about? KL, you should drive in New York. They'll drive on top of you. Oh, yes, the, and you go on the highways in LA. Oh, it's major scary time. And um, anyways, that, I don't do that. I don't do that. So I, I don't beep anyone anymore, and I don't challenge anyone anymore, because I realize it's my mind. It's my mind. And uh, when I drive, I let everybody pass me. If they want to beep, they want to do, just let them pass. They beep, I just smile, that's it. And you know what? Since then, no more incidences. No more. I don't get people chasing me across town. <laughs> I don't get people going in front of me and stepping on their brakes. And I almost ram into them. And it's, it doesn't happen anymore. In fact, I've become a really, really nice driver. And that, that I'm very happy because it may seem like something small, but it's an aspect of my mind that I expect people to be like that, like that, like that. They don't, I challenge them. And that's a wrong challenge. Violent challenging, hostile. And here, when you beat people, it's very offensive. I mean, that's that's the thing, though. People can take it the wrong way, for sure. If you you beeping just to let them know that you're here, most people take it as in you're beeping because you know you're impatient or whatever. You're being rude. And that's the culture here. So since I live here, I've got to understand the culture here. In America, it's not a big deal. In India, they tell you to blow the horn. <laughs> if you're gonna pass somebody, you gotta blow the horn. Because I lived there for years, so everybody's beeping everybody. Nobody gets upset. That's the culture there. And that's how it's supposed to be in America too. You kind of I think I haven't haven't had my driving test in a long while but no one ever beeps really beeping is more for letting people know and for being mad mostly being mad but depending on the situation that you're in it could be just for like a warning especially in parking lots someone's backing out you beep to let them know that you know hey I'm coming up or whatever and people understand in parking lots and slower situations that beeping is to let people let people know that you're there <clears throat> you let them know you're passing them so um, you see on the back of trucks, lorries, everywhere it says blow horn, blow horn, horn please, everywhere. Imagine if a Malaysian went there. Just think of Jivan going there, you know. Blow horn, <laughs> blow horn. He knows what happens if he blows horn here. <laughs> you see Jivan in Chera somewhere with a bunch of young, punky little kids and he beeps at them, that's it. Mm. 
Link. Hey, Road Rage Dharma. Dharma, in this situation, to me, almost seems like duty to... to calmness. Like, to not lose your cool. Not to give in to your emotions. That's what it sounds like in this one. I mean, you know, I don't... There's not a lot of road rage going on around where I live, so it's not a really a big issue. But not a bad idea, you know. Um, oh, work customer service. <laughs> you want to you wanna practice Dharma. There you go. <laughs> I don't know if anyone anyone works customer service, but good lord. That's a figure of speech, what I just said. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> yeah, uh... Oh my gosh! Yeah, you 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 want to You want to see how uh, how enlightened you are? You're about to get it tested for sure. <laughs> and I'm sure that's pretty much everywhere. I don't know. I mean, don't get me wrong. Most people, most people, is going to be kind, but you will get those mo those people who just they just uh, put the wrong slipper on or something, stepped on a uh, stepped on a nail or something. I don't know. Woke up on the wrong side of the bed. <laughs> but yeah, okay. Um. So, uh, do I get tested like this? Uh, kinda. Not too much, honestly. But again, I use my understanding of the situation, where if someone is upset at me, and I've done nothing wrong to them, then clearly something went wrong in their day. Something bad happened in their day, and I feel sorry for them. You know, it's because I'm having a better day than them, because I'm not mad, and they're yelling at me or being upset at me, then uh, I am a ha If I get mad too, then I am in the same boat as they are. And I don't want to be that way. So I'll, I'll kind of just sit there, and you know, I don't I don't take it. I'll listen, you know. But I've, I've never really had that situation though, so... I mean, again, you know, I'm not going to sit there and say it's easy just to keep your cool, but you know, uh, just be mindful of it, really. That should help. Now, I'm not going to say that you're not going to lose your cool, but at least when you're mindful of it, I think it gets easier each time. It's kind of being, uh, I guess what they call exposure ter therapy, where if there's something that you're not good at, by being exposed to it, and by whatever it is that you need to do, you get better at it. It's kind of like practicing, you know, any kind of sport. The more you do it, the more practice you get better. You're not going to be the best, maybe. You could be the best, you, but, you know, you just get better at it, better than what you were before. You still might have to be able to play the sport, but you're going to get better. <laughs> so, uh, by exposing yourself to certain things, by being mindful of it, you, it's going to be kind of like that, I think, personally. So anyway, this is my reaction to Road Rage of Dharma. If you like my content, please consider subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next vid.